Okay, guys, so I wanted to show you pretty much my finished product of my HP, uh, or sorry, my Red Cat HP, uh, HPX, I forget, uh, Lightning Drift Car. It came with some crappy little drift tires, some kind of belted drift tires before. I've changed them to rubber. I just wanted to take a quick shot with the body on because I did a GT Racing uh, LED light kit on this, which is pretty cool. So I just want to get a video of that before I get a video of the going. So bear with me. Uh, I'm going to try and get the headlights going. Here we go. So this is complete with blinkers, headlights, shot of the blinkers is when you turn right when you turn left I probably shouldn't do this but when you oh bad idea so when you give a gas the headlights come on in the rear end so you got your gas brake and tap, you got your reverse lights. You also got your blinker to the right and your blinker to the left. Pretty awesome. It's a, uh, I'm not sure, maybe it's a Pro Line or I think it might even be an HPI body, a uh, 2004 RX 8. I have the same car in the same color in real life, like a real boy. And uh, that's why I did it. It turned out great. So I'm going to cut real quick and I'm going to give you a shot with the new internal up. Okay, so here is an update of the internals. Um, change the tires, like I said. Um, I think they're an HPI tire, I'm not sure. Uh, but there's your thread pattern. They're soft, doesn't feel like there's foam in there, but there probably is. Uh, they're plastic. I wanted to go with the steel, but I'm afraid that weight's going to mess up all my gears, so I'm trying to keep it as lightweight as possible in the weirds. But I uh, have busted the interior. Sometimes I use these. Highly recommended uh, Tamiya Tamiya D3 drift tires. D3 drift tires are kind of they're a softer compound, like you can squeeze them, but and they will stop when you brake and give you some sort of traction versus cheaper drift tires with the belts where you're kind of goofy and sliding everywhere. But I use these and these tires on there, and uh, I find actually last night using these. I think it did overheat a bit. And uh, what I've installed is a Sidewinder 3 uh, 7600, 7700, 7, uh, so something on the other side about a high torque brushless motor. Uh, super impressed, my first brushless motor. Um, don't even have it running on a uh, light bulb battery, just have it on an Onyx 5000 milliamp with a banana connector. And uh, the guys installed it for me, actually. I know that was kind of a pussy move, but I, did, I wanted to come home and play with it. I didn't want to spend all night trying to set up the ESC. Uh, it's the original Red Cat receiver. Um, and, yeah, I just want to show you guys the tire stretch on this thing. It's nuts. So here we go. There you go. Um, I may take it for a ride. It's a little wet out tonight, but this is my basher body I had from my old Tamiya that's basically scrapped. It's an old BMW body, but it's no light kit, no nothing. Just uh, come on, fella. Come on. There you go. That's my basher body, as you can see. So I may take it for a burn tonight and see. Let you guys see how fast it is. I'm super impressed. I honestly just want to put the body on it. The video before, the pegs were too big in the rear, so I couldn't have it sit on there properly, and I don't want to drill out the body anymore. I'm just going to replace it and put some original red cats. These were broken, replaced with some something I had in my box. 
Um, yeah, that's it. I'll take it for a boot and tell me what you think.